when, when, when Jameis slings it, I mean, he's a giant freak of an athletic black man. Yeah. <laughs> he just got, you know, yeah. Like, he's got, it's got the turnovers down. Yeah, exa- exactly. But when, like, when Baker winds up and throws one, man, I love, like, I've, I've been obsessed with Baker Mayfield uh, since he planted the flag in Ohio State. Uh-huh. Yeah. He's because been- I hate Ohio State. Right. And that was, and, and, and that was like Baker, you know, this, this walk on from five different teams guy shows up, beats Ohio State, you know, like Terrell Pryor in Ohio State, and just like, yeah, fuck you guys. Hmm. And of course, I hate Ohio State. So yeah. it was just the perfect, perfect storm for me. <laughs> right. So I love Baker. Like, you love Jameis. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, he's going to the Browns. That just happened. Um, I NFL, like that. I NFL, like the match. Yeah. Um, I had a feeling he knew he wasn't going to go back to New Orleans based on that last play he did. Well, last and you wouldn't year. want to go back to New Orleans yeah. if I'm a quarterback right, right. now. I don't want to be there. No, I think their their situation, that head coach is not good. It's not be- good for a quarterback. If they had Sean Payton still, um, I thought Denver might be an option because of that, but no, they're not going to go there. He, he, uh, I think Tennessee was interested in New York, but I think he made the right move. A team that made it to the playoffs, a team that was the backup last year, won NFL comeback player of the year. In they Joe had Flacco. five different, five different starting quarterbacks right. last year. In I, I don't think that, I think that they're, they, I think they realized that Deshaun was a bad move. You know? Yeah. I mean, he, the games he's played after the suspension, weren't good. I mean, and they and it was noticeably different. It, he looks like a completely different player. Um, and it, it doesn't make sense. That's what I was about well, to it's say. In to his you. Head. It's so weird. Well, it, not really. If you think about it, nobody knew. Every, it's in his head, and and he maybe he wasn't as good because you saw what C.J. Stroud did in Houston. You know, he he's won a more. That he's already won more. Oh, who was yeah. actually speaking to CJ Stroud? Yeah. Who was the running back that uh, Houston picked up? They just yeah. Who was it? I can't remember. Uh, Houston just picked up a running back in this free agent, uh, like a badass running back. Tony was it? Tony Pollard? No. But your boy Gus Edwards going out to LA. No, no, not to LA to uh, to the Texans. But yeah, yeah no, I I did I, no, I did they- see my boy going to the Chargers. <laughs> Brian, uh, no, we'll, hold on. I think you're going at me now. Who went to the um, to the Texans? The running back with the Texans. I think it was Tony Pollard. Because yeah, no, I saw it. Because uh, I was hiking, I was hiking yesterday, so I missed out on all the free agency craziness, and I've been catching up on it all day. <clears throat> and I remember seeing that uh, that no, the Texans no, have got a free agent no. running back. Titans. They did, but it's not Tony Pollard. He's going to the Titans. No, uh, no, I know. I, I I wasn't positive it was Tony Pollard, but the Texans did get a free agent running back. Saquon Barkley's going to the Eagles. To the Eagles. Derrick Henry uh, went Edward to the Ravens. He's going to the Chargers. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, goes to the Chargers. Said. Very but who's the one that's going to – who's the running back going to the Texans? Mixon. There you go. I was going to say, I knew it was Dynamite. a big-name running back. Dynamite stuff. It, it, it's a, it, I, yes. hit, I hit record, too, and it's just great. <laughs> just hey, man, great we can't stuff. search the internet. We He's can't search the internet by ourselves. He's just on vacation feeling good. He had, like, some free time. Cry. I, I hear you cracking a beer on vacation. Mm-hmm. You want to talk I, about uh, NFL free agency because it's going crazy. I love it. I love it. Um, I got. And I, I didn't even go on. off on the Dolphins. Well, the Dolphins. Reno's sitting around. Uh, the Dolphins lost Christian Wilkins. We knew. Yeah, he's going to the Raiders. Yeah. Well, we're about to. 
Well, it's it, technically it, not dude, the Dolphins, happen until tomorrow because of all that, but everything's good. Dude, ready. the Dolphins have lost everybody, not just Christian Wilkins, dude. Aaron the Dolphins Jones, have lost Christian Aaron Wilkins. Jones is going to the Vikings. Dude, the Dolphins have lost Christian Wilkins, Jerome Baker, uh, Van Ginkle. Oh, they lost Vanilla Ice? Yeah, yep, they lost Van Ginkle. Um, Connor Williams, one of our O linemen, is still on the market. Josh um, Jacobs, a lot of running backs getting some good money. Josh Jacobs going to the Packers. Yeah. Derrick Henry going to the Ravens. Yeah, Henry to the Ravens makes sense. I mean, it sucks that he's going to get his knee lost, blown out. Yeah. Uh, because that's Zach, what happens to every running back in, in Baltimore is yeah, they Zach, blow their knee Zach out. Zach Moss from the Colts is now going to the Bengals since they're losing out on Joe Mixon. Oh, that's not a good the trade. Texans. The commanders uh, signed Austin Eckler. That's that's a good pickup. He can do a lot. Um, Aaron Jones, one year deal with the Vikings. Dude, the commies are right there with uh, weapons, man. If uh, if uh, what's his name, Sam Howell, out of uh, North Carolina, is ever going to be a quarterback, it's going to be this coming year Bears, with all the weapons they Bears have now. Get Swift, DeAndre Swift. Um, dude, why does nobody want DeAndre Swift? Dude, I'm telling you, this is running back. This is it. I mean, you're just gonna. It's gonna be a bunch of one year deals. Even if you have a but good dude, deal. what about how Saquon? Dude, how do you sign Saquon for a three year deal at like thirteen mil a year when you can Saquon, get DeAndre Swift? Saquon's got another. First, DeAndre Swift can do. DeAndre Swift can do everything that Saquon can do. I don't know, man. I mean, these deals at running back, Saquon still got. Austin Eckler can do everything that Saquon can do. No. It's about what your potential is, and yeah, and your agent, yeah. Man. And he's obviously got a good one. He got three. Yeah, I was gonna years. say it's got to be the agent at this point because I mean, like, I just named a couple other running backs that are worth thirteen mil according to that Saquon Barkley deal. Well, let's go back to uh, quarterbacks. We also got Kirk Cousins going to Hotlanta. He's getting. He's got a great agent. I mean, he's been getting. He's been making like money moves. His whole career. Well, Kirk Cousins has also been brilliant for drafted, taking the guaranteed money. Drafted. He had, like, chip on his shoulder, dread fourth round, you know, when they took RG3 in the first round. Yeah, and that's what I was just, just nothing but, uh, you know, done just well enough to get that contract or, like, played hot enough at the end. And then he gets the contract and – He's just, but he's never really lived up to he's that Kyle, type of he's money. A Kyle never, Shanahan quarterback, man. He's never lived up to that type of money. He's Kyle and Shanahan. He's, yeah. he, he's, uh, he's Ryan Tannehill with a better agent. Yeah. And uh, he's now going to Atlanta, who, you know, they're dropped a lot, guaranteed money to Kirk Cousins. Uh, they get a lot of people say they were quarterback away, so we'll find out. I think anything. Less than ten wins for the Falcons next year is a, is a is a failure, you know, because you were pretty close. We well, damn sure better said, not go seven and nine. Right, right, exactly. Well, I'm just saying, I'm saying ten wins. If they don't get ten wins, yeah. it's a failure. Yeah. This is bust, a blow. No this is they're going for it with this move. Well, they they listen. It wins or not? No, when, it's when all, it's all about wins. It's not about when wins. You go, it's about playoffs. That's all that matters. Well, yeah, well, we got to make postseason. You get to, well, yeah. Ten wins will be yeah, in the playoffs, but dude, just division, just find division. a way to get in the playoffs in the postseason. <clears throat> no, with the uh, no with the, with the talent Atlanta has amassed, um, and now you plug Kirk Cousins in with that solid offensive line, a great defense, and a bunch of young weapons. Um, you got to make the divisional round in the playoffs for it to be a success. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I, yeah I was you just, can't lose in the wild card round if you're Atlanta. No, no yeah. way. If you if you get in and you lose the well, wild card will, round, um, yeah, it's, a, it's a failure to get there. Um, let's go back to these signings. I mean, God, what a time to be just average quarterback in the league. Yeah, I, know, I mean right? that can have a few good games. I mean, you thought look at Baker Mayfield. You thought his career was done. You know he. he he was toast, and now he was. He went to Carolina, didn't work out. Then he got shot in L.A., did okay there, and then uh, just you, you just got to keep hanging around, and then get your shot, and uh, don't blow it. And he learned. I think he learned from mistake from his mistakes, 
You know, I think some of these guys, especially like Baker and then like kind of like Jameis too, you know, these are guys that are number one picks. These are guys that are Heisman Trophy winners. They're ultimate competitors, ultimate confidence. And the NFL is just a different game. And it's a whole new type of just management that needs to be done. Like, court in, in like a just a complicated way. You know, you have to be a manager to figure it out. And no, uh, well, like, like that's why I actually I I, I like the Baker right. versus Jameis discussion. Um, well, yeah, because they both because they both played for the same teams. They right. both have um, um, similar skill sets. That what a, um, what a matchup that would be potentially. You could get the Bucks. Oh, that'd the Browns. be fun. I mean, I, that would be fun. I, I don't. I don't. He's Jameis mentioned that he wanted to play. Um, so when he's l- taking looks at the available options, you have to think he's going to pick whichever one he thinks he has the best shot to play in. And I think he made the right choice based on the rumors that you hear that what other teams were interested. So he's going to a team that made the playoffs, um, going to a team that has a quarterback that is not the most reliable <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, I mean, he's like basically backing up uh, Fred Taylor as a running back in the 90s <laughs> at this point. Yeah, so, and he's a locker room guy. Even when he's, even when he had his worst year in Tampa, like he still had nobody really said, except for White. But, um, but. I mean, I call I, him Reverend Booty, man. I think yeah, that, he's uh, a I, think he'll, I think he'll be a, the a good be a locker room prince. guy. He's going to be a good teammate. He'll be. I think the Browns will make – it's kind of puts – if anything, it's like, it all right, Deshaun, Deshaun you're going to have to – yeah, I like it because if – look what look what Flacco did last year. We're going to get another journeyman guy who's younger than Flacco, who's hungry, who so wants they, to play. They, if you don't, do if you don't Flacco, bring it, not resign he just didn't resign him. Okay. He probably, yeah, I mean, you I could mean, get James cheaper. Yeah. I would say the only argument you could have if – if you're uh, if you're Cleveland looking for a backup quarterback, knowing that you've got an oft injured and oft uh, well, you know Jacoby broken creep too. of a quarterback, and they lost him to the Patriots. Um, and so you got to have a really good backup. Yeah. Um, I would think that the only other backup that you would sign at a reasonable price that would be a good argument would be maybe Gardner Minshew. Yeah. But Minshew is going to compete for the starting job in Vegas, apparently. Right. So you're not going to get Minshew because he's got a starting uh, uh, potential. Right. So I, I I think Winston makes the most sense, and Cleveland's got so much talent, and yeah, they've they got just traded they, for uh, Jerry Judy too. Yeah, yeah, um, no. So you got you got Jerry Judy, you got Elijah Moore, you got Amari Cooper, you got David Njoku. You've got uh, Nick Chubb coming back off an of injury. Um, I mean, he's got weapons all over the goddamn field. I like and that. He's got Kevin, I like the choice. And, he, and he's got Kevin Stefanski as an yeah, offensive coordinator and that, head coach and who is an going. offensive freaking genius. We all forget that, about how good of a well, play caller Stefanski is like, with a competent quarterback. You look what have you know? You can tell how well the coach he got. Look what he did with Joe Flacco last year. They did look better with Joe Flacco did than they did with Deshaun Watson. He just and Joe, Joe Flacco looked terrible when he was with a bad coach, but he he knows what to do when he has a good plan. And look what they did. I mean, he put up great numbers, and he led him to the Dagon playoffs. Yeah, dude, Stefanski is Stefanski is a uh, a great. It'll be a great. Yeah, it'll be a good fit for Jameis. It, I, it's much it's better than hope. freaking it's last hope. Carmichael yeah. Yeah. that he's coming from. The guy in New Orleans that got fired. Did he get fired? Pete. Pete Carmichael? Yeah, the, he got fired. Yeah, that guy was coattail riding from Sean Payton. I don't know. I feel like I would just fire him based on his name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pete Carmichael? Yeah, so I that's, mean, like, get the hell out of my Yeah, we're just, <laughs> you know, that's that's just something I, I'll keep an eye on there. Um, Kirk Cousins will be in the NFC South. All of a sudden you have what was a god-awful division. Is the NFC South going to be good now? I doubt it. It'll be interesting at the very yeah. least. You got some big money quarterbacks that haven't. Well, Derek Carr, what's he ever done? Kirk Cousins, what's he ever done? That, Man, did I miss for Baker did Mayfield? Miss all my, those guys uh, are getting Baker May. All three of those guys are getting paid big money, 
And I'm telling you right now, yeah. one of them's gonna, two of them probably, it's gonna, not, it's not gonna work out. Shit, I'll bet all three I mean, based on averages, none of them are gonna work. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd, I'd be surprised <laughs> if any of them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you bring a 32 year old veteran quarterback and expect him to lead the way. I mean, that so rarely happens in the NFL. Yeah. Well, I mean, it always makes sense. Every time we see it, it makes sense. Like, like I was saying at the beginning of uh, uh, this past season with Aaron Rodgers to the Jets, it didn't scare me because that was the classic yeah. old guy quarterback to a crappy, desperate team. Yeah. And, I mean, granted, his Achilles tear on, like, the third play, right? you know, you couldn't predict that, but you knew something was going to go wrong because that, that shit never works. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, there's just all kinds of stuff coming through. Um, the big tight end, the t- both tight ends in the Super Bowl, closing out on new deals. No oh, speaking there. of Super Bowl tight ends, Jason Kelsey retired. Yeah. Even yeah, though he's the a center. center. Yeah. And brother. not a tight end. That was odd, the timing of it, I guess. He went, just did he just wait over. to go? Like he had a bad workout one day and he's just like, you know what? I'm not coming back. My back hurts. My <laughs> back hurts. I'm tired of doing this. I mean, this. It, 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 the just push is no longer a, a play. Right. You do your vacation probably, you know, on the end of the season. You're probably like, I'm not going to make any decisions yet. And he comes back, Winston, and he's like, you know what? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I got to realize yeah. what it's going to take oh, God. This to year physically again? compete yeah. this next year. Yeah, no. And he – that's why he did it when he did it. That's Ooh. the first thing that I... Oh, hey, I just saw on ESPN, uh, Shaq Barrett uh, signed with the Dolphins. Well, that's the... That's a big pickup. Yeah, they have him to go uh, opposite Chubb now. Um, yeah, but Chubb's going to be out all of next year. Yeah, that's true. Because he blew out his knee at the end of the season. We're not going to get Jalen Phillips well, back. Uh, the Vikings, the Vikings went out and got Sam Darnold on a one-year... Ah, uh, really? On a one-year deal. I, was, I don't... Wow. I don't understand that. Well, that's a – that's we're just going to get a guy to fill. We're going to go find a guy that's – We're not paying. No, he's a guy that's – We can guy field. get – I mean, honestly, we can get a guy that's not as good as Kirk Cousins, but going to cost us one like 90% less. Yeah. That's what that is. Well, he's not going to be yeah, the starter. No, we're not right going to win the Super Bowl, so – Darnold's not going to be the starter in Minnesota. No, no but – But they have, they're going to draft somebody, and they're going to – Yeah. Uh, Dude, Drew right Lock signed with the Giants. Oh, uh, Drew Lock's going to be Jacoby Brissett. Jacoby Brissett is uh, signed with the, the Patriots. Patriots. He pro- now he probably will start. Mac Jones has been <laughs> traded to Six the Jaguars. Back up Trevor Lawrence. So he'll be he's going back to his hometown. So are we? Gonna, That's a like, good. Ba- I like him as a backup, actually. So does that that is Belichick going to wear that? Or are people going to? I mean, yeah. I know he retired now. Maybe. But that was his last bad move, man. Yeah, dude, just an awful pick. Yeah, God, so you I, got, one of many, yeah. one of many bad moves. Yeah, and then oh, we didn't. But damn, how about dude, this cheap. one? That deal that Russell Wilson now he that Steelers picked him up uh, yeah. one year, one point two million. <laughs> wow. But you know what? I don't get the fit. I don't either. because it's one because like hey they're just be like all right man you can have a shot yeah give you a shot and uh, you know if you if, no, no I get the I, I get the uh, I get the fit the it's the same shot, thing that if it, you're the Steelers no 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 this Steelers, is perfect I understand taking he can the shot, win but I if he's on a good team fit, it, I don't see the fit in the offensive scheme though is what I'm getting they at. don't really dude it's Mike Tomlin they don't have a scheme right now except winning nine games and and I like you have a defense look what he did uh, the dooms the Legion of Boom, whatever. You know, it's like your defense yeah, is good. You have a guy. Though, I know, I know. So this is their chance. They're just putting in, they're giving a million dollars and they're saying, hey, maybe you got lightning in a bottle. You know, you've yeah, done it before. Yeah, dude, the Broncos That's what that is. Like- they're, because they're, I mean, the guy with the, the draft oh. picket, you know, he, he he's digressed. And so they're just trying to find someone to step up there. Dude, the Broncos gave him eleventy billion dollars. I know, yeah. and they're that's but, why they're just when, like, hey, when, the but, Broncos but are also, paying the tab, so was, the Steelers are like just letting them play. Scenario, for free. dude. The, the Broncos had a good, solid defense. They were ready to plug and play quarterback, yeah. which is what Pittsburgh is right now. Yeah, Gardner Minshew, Pittsburgh though, yeah, it. he's going to start Pittsburgh for the Raiders. Make, they're making the same mistake, dude. Russell Wilson ain't the dude. Well, they, the, I, I think 
I think, yeah, yeah but I think that's what I think they're that's not why. making a mistake when he's only making a million dollars. I think that's what you're saying is like, no, you're that's done. What I, say financially. He, I wouldn't be surprised if he, if he even made the team, dude, this is like, he, he still has got to make the team. They might not like even, said, if he's by, not going to, if he doesn't, yeah. Financially, it makes sense. Schematically, it doesn't. Well, there, I think you're just hoping to find lightning in a bottle. You know, I, I trust Tomlin. I mean, how could you not? I mean, I honestly, he's he's it's trying yeah, to find like those it. hidden deals, man. And that's what you got to do in this league with salary caps. You got to find, you got to try to find bargains. And right now, he does have a history. I mean, before not, I mean, he has took a he has jumped off a cliff in terms of like he was talked about as future Hall of Fame quarterback, just not before that pick. That and it's been all downhill. I mean, the sit that was just. I mean, he was always overrated in my opinion because, but um, but he's still okay. He had some moments, but he's never really been like a consistent quarterback he's always kind of scrambled around got he lucky. had an got lucky he had an awesome he had an awesome like four-year run when seattle was mediocre and he was putting up crazy good numbers yeah, yeah. when seattle when seattle was winning the offense was not focused around russell wilson no, yeah it was beast mode time well we still have ryan Tannehill still yet to sign um, who cares yeah i know right <laughs> i'm just going to um to kobe Brissett. he's probably going to go to the Patriots, to the they're going to draft the. They're going to draft. They're picking three, so they're going to take either Drake May or. Um, oh, if Drake, oh, man, Drake I don't May want or, Drake May to go there. If, if you yeah. trade up, you no, know, I, I, Drake I, May. if I'm if I'm New England, I just take whoever's there. I I actually like that spot. You know, there's three quarterbacks that I I think they're going to go one, two, three. So you take whichever one's left. Yeah, but for Drake, uh, Drake May is the best quarterback in the draft. I I was thinking that. And I, I think- I've been I've been saying it for three fucking years. I told you about Drake May when he played FAMU on week zero three years yeah, ago. Yeah, I know. Uh, we'll- I've been hyping up Drake May forever. Drake May is the best quarterback in this draft. Caleb Williams is an emotional dumpster fire. Right. Yeah, he really. Is. And Jaden da- and Jaden Daniels is either a rock star or a wild bust. This is where. This is why I kind of don't. Mine being number three, you could get the best quarterback and not have to trade because Chicago is going to pick Caleb Williams because of just pressure. Yeah. And then um, Washington's not going to want to get another court North Carolina quarterback. They just got one. And, you know, and Je- you know, it's his hometown, the Heisman's winner. <clears throat> what you got, what you got to worry about there at, uh, at number two is, uh, somebody trading up to get Drake May. Yeah. Well, or the, yeah, yeah, that would be it. So do you if think somebody well, likes Drake May? Or, like, well, do we think about trading with Chicago and just taking May number one overall? Right. If you like them. Yeah. Like, I mean, if I'm, if I'm Chicago's GM, I draft Jake May. I mean, yeah. I've been yeah. Drake May for years. That's true. If Chicago's going to go QB, I figured they would have already traded Fields if they were going to go QB, but maybe not. Maybe I, I mean, time. honestly, honestly, if I am not looking to trade out of number one, and I'm Chicago, if it was me, I would not trade out of number one because I still have faith in Fields. Yeah. Yeah, I still have faith in Justin Fields. Um, and if you, uh, what I would do is I would trade out a number oh, one I, and still stay. Yeah. I'd still stay in the top ten, and I would pillage somebody for a bunch of picks next year. And then at the end of this year, if Justin Fields is the dude, that's not going to happen. Then, then I pay Fields, and I've already got a bunch of cheap. Think- Jaden Daniels. Weapons. What do you think about Jaden Daniels? I, I, I think he's boomer bust. Yeah, he. I, I think. Yeah. Depend, I think he's going to need a lot of weapons around him, just like he had it at LSU. Is he like Lamar? A lot of I depend on Lamar Jackson. The thing about Lamar Jackson that he he might be a better passer, but does he have the grit and the toughness that Lamar Jackson has? Like to be able to last, like the way the way that Lamar Jackson plays and to play as long as he has that way is kind of impressive. Lamar Lamar Jackson is one of one. Uh, Jaden Daniels, um, 
He had three. He's built like he's, he's built like Jacory Harris. Round, yeah, man. He had three first round three draft, NFL yeah. receivers. Yeah, yeah. He had he had the best the receiving crew. Yeah, in the dude, country. and he's built. He's built like Jacory Harris. That's another thing. He's like six four, like two hundred and ten pounds. You can't play the style that he plays. Yeah, at that size, you're not Cam Newton. Right. He's you know, not, I not. mean, Justin Fields is significantly bigger than Jaden Daniels, but Jaden Daniels plays a similar style well, to what Justin Fields plays, and you can't run around yeah, I mean, even, you know, I think straight the, up running even, like the way he does. I think the Patriots even are Even big dudes. Stay, Look at Anthony We're, Richardson. A dude that's chiseled, chiseled up, they rocked up 250 pounds. He got put on the shelf for the season trying to play that same kind of football. Trying to run like he's a running back, you know, carry the ball fifteen times a game, dude. That's I think yeah, we'll no, see, if you're gonna do that, you gotta be Josh Allen. Yeah. Washington, are they gonna take they'll have that. So are they gonna take the home cat town Heisman winner? Are they gonna take Drake May? I think they should take Drake May as well. I think they gotta go with that. I think everybody should take Drake May. Everybody that doesn't take take Drake May after the number one pick is making a mistake. And then it's almost like you got three quarterbacks. And then it's on to the receivers. Those will be like the the first. Those are your new like tiers. You have three quarterbacks, and there's like three receivers. Sprinkle in the in draft. It. Sprinkle in the the pass rushers. Right. That's what you're gonna get. Or maybe a tackle. Yeah, big big monster inside. Maybe. Um, I think you might see edge guys go before you see interior. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because we've actually, uh, actually, since the last time we've had a episode, man, we've had a lot of NFL news. We've had the uh, the combine and now free agency. Yeah, things. Are- yeah, it's happening real fast, and we got, and it, it happens, but there's plenty of time until the draft. That you know, you get the pre agency moves now. You kind of see what people are <laughs> looking for, and then you'll be able to really kind of hope what teams are going to play these free agents or what teams are going to go with the rookies yeah i mean i'll probably do 15 to 20 different mock drafts just to pass time while i'm bored at work between now and the draft yeah <laughs> the you got end. those first three and then you got the first three of um so it's the end of april right the, the guy Last from week. washington yeah it's like april 23rd 24th or something like that i saw Damn. yeah because we definitely can't talk JJ McCarthy getting a lot of. <laughs> no, I didn't. I, I, oof, mean, I don't even think basketball, basketball season existed a, this year. Just a year ago, it was Miami making a run to the Final Four. Matthew Cleveland poisoned the team. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got that, and you lost a lot of guys that were really good. <laughs> Nope, I'm going to blame Matthew Cleveland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. It's much easier and more accurate. It's Matthew yes, Cleveland's it is. fault. It's Matthew Cleveland's fault, man. We still, we we still, still had him here. We ACC still had Pac. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Yeah, Miami actually, I think, plays tonight yeah. against D.C. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, even if we make a run and win the ACC tournament, I mean, I don't care. I'm so mad oh, at the Kings. Yeah. <laughs> the Heat are solid, though. Yeah, that I mean, by NBA, it's hard to get into it until the playoffs start. Honestly, yeah, yeah, no, it's usually around Mother's Day when I actually start caring. <laughs> like I, like I've watched a handful of Heat games, and uh, I, I haven't like, seen the Heat. I haven't seen the Heat with a full starting lineup yet. Yeah, it's like eighty percent of the league doesn't start caring until Mother's Day either. They just sort of they go out there, they stay loose. I'm gonna go out there get twenty points, whatever. <laughs> Yep, you just want to hover around like a mid-level yeah. seed in the playoffs, and if you hover around there, then you'll be good. Turn it on in May. Yeah, I mean, but this free agency, and then just look at some of the deals that were made just a year ago. Look how bad they look. Like Daniel Jones deal. Daniel Jones deal. You know, now they the lost. Sa- Saquon's going to the Eagles now. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> That's gonna. Hey, be- but at least they signed Darren Waller for a bunch of money last yeah. year. Yeah. And they went. They paid Brian Burns. It's gonna, yeah, they got Brian it's Burns. Cost them too. Like yeah. I hope he, he better win him a Super Bowl from a pass rusher spot, man. But it's not gonna happen. Yeah, no, no, they, they, the they stole. They stole Brian Burns. Well, he wanted out of Carolina. Yeah, but now and now the Giants are gonna have to pay him. Yeah, but they did. They stole him. They got Brian Burns for what, like a second and a fifth round pick or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, they stole him because Brian Burns is a beast of a pass rusher. He really is. 
God, I wish he would have played on better teams here. Would have been nice. Instead of ushering in the Taggart era. Mm. Jesus. His one good recruit. One good recruit. Yes, he did. His one good recruit was Brian Burns. Because Brian Burns is a he's a monster. So and he's you, been great yeah. in the NFL. Yeah. Oh yeah, so, yeah, man. He's it's a great pickup, but He's just going to waste in New York for three years. He's going to waste away in in New York because the Giants are going to be terrible for the next four years. Who's going to get Justin Fields? I mean, you. A lot Maybe of people nobody. thought Atlanta would be the target. Yeah, I, I. Yeah, that was that was the hot. I mean, now you have Gardner Minshew and with Vegas. I mean, Russell Wilson going to the Steelers. I mean, Jacoby Brissett going to the Patriots. I mean, who's going to go out the Broncos or like the Seahawks now? You know, I think the Seahawks actually make sense for a couple different reasons. I think the Seahawks make sense because Geno Smith is on the third year of that three year, hundred million dollar contract he signed uh, a couple years ago. Yeah, and I also think that Geno Smith can relate to Justin Fields with the whole "nobody wants me" thing. That's true. Yeah. This is a coaching team. And, you know, it's like, like, nobody wants me. Let me prove everybody wrong. Here's my chance. And Geno Smith can be like, I did it here. You can do it here. And Geno will do that because he knows he's got, well, you know, you're running out of, left. you're running out of options to, to get people are going to, well, you're not, you're going to have to, what are you going to do with them? You're not going to get anything for them. There's not many more people that are, in the market people just wait better all in right. right i think at this point it's more valuable to chicago to just use that number one pick to to like justin said try to pillage somebody cuz they still have another top 10 pick yeah in, in their holster yeah they so, do if so you're not if you in love down, and you, i mean if you if you're not in love with the quarterbacks or you think that you could get one of the guys that you like even later you yeah. try to get as much as you can for that first that's pick. another thing you never know if you're going to get a guy in a fourth round that's going to turn into, yeah. you know, mystery relevant old there, Bork Purdy. Yeah. Really wish uh, you I love the, uh, I love the uh, first round, second round combo for the Saints. Uh, for first round uh, draft, Roma Dunze, uh, that monster wide receiver from Washington. Yeah. And then uh, early in the second round, Bo Nix. There you go. Yeah, because well, now you, you got, still got now places you got, like Denver that don't have anybody. So they mm-hmm. you have to think that they're waiting around draft day to pull something. And that that's probably when you see Justin Fields traded. Well, and I also think yeah, there's something missing. I don't think Vegas is actually signed Minshew to be the starter. Like I think they just signed him just for like a thing. Yeah, but they today. gave him twenty five million for two years. <laughs> that's yeah, that, that is based on what they have there, that that he's gonna be playing. I mean, God, it's just kind of hard to comprehend that yeah. that would actually be the move. Yeah. Well, I I think that's what I was saying. If you don't, there's such a if you're not like Josh Allen, Pat Mahomes, that just complete like you can win as long as the guys don't screw it up with a guy who's learned it like a Baker Mayfield. But even him now, are you gonna pay that much? Find find a guy like Jameis, one year eight million dollars. You could find, you You're know, savvy veteran your way to some playoff yeah. berths. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm gonna run Dave Craig in here, and then after he's done, Dave man, Craig, Frank Reich's gonna step through that door. God, help Wade me. Wilson Wade is gonna Wilson. be my starting quarterback. Sean Salisbury. There you go. <laughs> Never knows who's hungry. You're almost like you earn your money when you're not getting paid. So you know who's gonna get who's gonna get that the guy who's looking for the contract who's who's gonna that's what the race is now it's almost like oh we, he did well we have to pay him and yeah, oh, dude, I get? hate that the Dolphins right, I hate right. the Dolphins are about to pay fifty million to Tua. right so it's like you gotta yeah do you, like he, what else are you gonna huh? do what do you do I mean you're just gonna have to pay it Water. maybe I just do short high a lot of money do a short term deal. That way you get out if it doesn't work out. Yeah, like unless you got a freak. 
Just pay him a bunch, guarantee it, but just make it short. That's kind of what uh, Kirk Cousins has been doing for almost 10 years now. It's oh signing gosh, three and four is, year guaranteed yeah, deals. Yeah, he is. You know, where he's like, hey, I'm I'm good enough. I'm yeah. good enough, so give me that money, but I need it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like right don't now. don't don't pay me top end of the market, pay me middle of the market and right. just guarantee it and I'll be here for three years. And then so, in three years later, you still can't find another Josh Allen. So you're gonna sign me again for the same contract. Yep. Yeah. I mean that what I mean, what what what's happening now? You got the Raiders, uh, there's really Sam Darnold. Those those are the big ones. The Sam Darnold signing is the one that really confuses me. Yeah. I mean, if you're the Vikings, why are you going to sign Sam Darnold? Why are you going to sign Sam Darnold and not trade for Justin Fields if you're the Vikings? Yeah. I mean, unless you say, like like you said, maybe draft night, uh, Fields' demand will be way down since nobody's gone for him, and then maybe you can get him for cheaper. Yeah, you know, lesser on a trade or something like that. Well, we'll find out. What's what's the, what's the best move so far? If you had to pick one, <laughs> best mm. move so far. I mean, we don't know that till next year. But yeah, what do uh. you guess? If you had to rank them. Mm. Honestly, you know what one I like? I like mixing to the Texans. Okay. Yeah. I like mix into the Texans, dude, with CJ Stroud, right. yeah. uh Singletary as the other running back. You got Singletary and Mixon as your two running backs. A lot of big running back moves today. A lot of big yeah. running backs making a comeback, making some money. Finally. Yeah. See if that <laughs> see if that's a trend or Yeah, it's like the nineties again. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think um, the best move, uh, my favorite move is Patrick Queen to the Steelers. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Well, you know what mine is. Oh, yeah. I mean, Booty Davis. Davis. Yeah. Booty Brown. Wherever Davis is going because of Davis. It's (laughs) Davis. The (laughs) Clemson guy and the Florida State guy. Yep. Be leading the Browns. ACC, ACC. I just think it's a. <laughs> I mean, you saw what they did last year. Well, that's going to be a lot of pressure on Deshaun Watson. And he's coming no, off, no, he's coming off shoulder is. surgery. I mean, not pressure to make money, but pressure to perform because they. I I I think Stefanski has enough. He'll bench him. I think he had. He's proven that. I think he if he he's going to get the nod to start the season, but. If you got, I think you got a hungry veteran in the back. It's a good pickup for them. Nice fit for Jameis. Yep. By, by, if uh, if Cleveland is one and three heading into October, Jameis starts. Yeah, right. Well, you know, uh, I actually don't mind Minshew to Vegas. Uh, they have some weapons. Um, like they just added Wilkinson to go with that crazy monster over there. Oh, you yeah. shut your mouth. You yeah. shut your mouth, you whore yeah. son of a bitch. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We'll see what happens, man. <laughs> Christian Wilkins, my boy, man. The guy I've been worried about since last offseason. If, if anybody goes back and listens to us talking our podcast last offseason, yeah. um, and they will hear me complaining about not paying Christian Wilkins last off season before the uh before the contract ended i wanted to give him that fifth year extension and we didn't do it and yeah, i knew it was gonna come back and bite draft, us man yeah oh yeah you know, I, I, you know. christian wilkins oh. though man like, that's a kid christian that wilkins was, is top five dt yeah he was an nfl player coming out of high school yeah that's he went to clemson and just it was easy for him well, man. It, it, yeah yeah we got a. Uh, I guess we got postseason basketball to look forward to for the Knolls. Maybe getting in the NIT. The baseball, Who cares? I know, the baseball team hasn't lost. The baseball game. team's looking good. I was going to say yeah, they're see. like thirteen. Well, they're getting their first, right? their first real test the first win against tonight Gainesville. in Gainesville in Hogtown. So we'll watch that. We'll react to hey, it. Hey, you're still winning. Yeah. And we'll talk to you next time. Hey, Canes took right here two or three from the Who's on the North Florida Sports Network.
we had to go. Our ride was here. We got a uh, shuttle uh, to our 